welcome back to another Recipe Wednesday as a part of the Strive for Health April Wellness Challenge. My name is Mary Ann Wright and I'm a 4-H area educator and assistant to the regional coordinator for Lincoln University Cooperative Extension. The Strive for Health April Wellness Challenge is being conducted throughout the month of April and we encourage you to learn more about that by visiting the Pemiscott County 4-H Facebook page and the Boot Hill 4-H YouTube channel. You can find a link to the Google Drive in the description of this video. Today, we are going to be making fruit salsa, and I have two helpers with me today, and they are? Honesty, Karen Finn. So we're gonna jump in and get started. So first, we're gonna tell you what you need for this recipe. So Honesty's gonna start with our ingredients. You need golden delicious apples, two kiwis, strawberries, raspberries, fruit preserves, sugar, brown sugar, ten flour tortillas, cooking spray, sugar, and more cinnamon. Okay, so the first step in this is to go ahead and preheat your oven because you will be needing the oven. So be sure if you're cooking to make sure your parent is helping you or they know that you're going to be cooking in the kitchen. So preheat the oven to 350 and then you're going to make sure you wash and dry all of your fruit. So we've already done that and we're ready to go. Two core and dice apples, peel and dice kiwis, remove stem from strawberries and dice, quarter raspberries. Okay, so this is when we're cutting all of our fruit. So you want to be very careful um, because you are going to be using a sharp knife. So Carrington's going to go ahead and start with our apples. So Carrington is peeling the apple by cutting closely to um, the edge and getting that skin off. You can also use an apple peeler. So honestly, you're going to go ahead and use the apple peeler on our other apple. It's easiest and cleanest if you go ahead and do that over a trash can. So honestly, has a trash can right below her and she's going to... Yes. So when you're using an apple peeler or a vegetable peeler, you want to make sure that the blade in is going to be the one that's touching your produce. And you're going just to be very careful as you move it down your fruit. I can do it now. I just okay. can't usually start it up. I don't know why. And always know that you can ask an adult um, to go ahead and do this part if you're not comfortable. So now we have our apple has been chopped and the finer you dice it, the better. So Carrington has diced our apple and now she's gonna add it to our bowl. If you can find Golden Delicious, you can substitute for other apples. So Pink Lady. Pink Lady would be a very good option for this recipe. Okay, so now we're gonna work and we're gonna peel our kiwi. So I'm going to go ahead and cut our kiwi. The best way to peel that is to cut the two ends off. And then you're going to lie, lay the flat side down. And you're just going to go around with your knife to peel your kiwi. And then once you have it completely peeled, you can go ahead and dice it in a similar um, slices as your apple there. So we're going to get rid of our peel. And then we'll go ahead and dice this. Okay, so now I have cut the kiwi. And be really careful with kiwi because it is really slippery. Um, so you want to make sure that you're being extra careful. And also where the apple is okay if you get some of the peel, you want to be sure to remove all the peel from the kiwi because that is not as tasty to eat. For our strawberries, we're going to go ahead and slice the stems off and then dice those. So just discard the stems and dice all your strawberries. Would you like to do that one, Jacob? Oh, yeah. There's one Okay, so now we've finished the strawberries. So we're gonna go ahead and add those to our bowl. And then next are the raspberries. So the raspberry, you are going to quarter. So Honesty is going to cut our raspberries. Lovely. So now we're finished with the raspberry, and Honesty is going to add those. Okay, great. So next, it's time to add our sweeteners. So we're going to use our measuring spoon. So now we're going to add two tablespoons of white sugar and one tablespoon of brown sugar. So honestly, is going to dip in, and then just like when you're measuring other things, you're going to be sure to level off. So 
We're going to level it before we add that. So Anna's just going to add our one more tablespoon of white sugar. And then with brown sugar, you're going to pack it. So she's going to use the same tablespoon. Oh, and she's going to reach in. And you're going to kind of press it into the spoon and then level it off. Okay, and so then our brown sugar also goes in. Now, the last thing we're going to put is our fruit preserves. You can choose any flavor of preserves that you have or that you would like. So today we are using strawberry, and we're going to add three tablespoons of fruit preserves to our mix. This will just help make it more salsa-like. Okay, once all the ingredients are there, you're going to thoroughly mix it. So honesty is going to go ahead and stir that together. Okay, so now it's mixed pretty well. And the smaller that you dice your fruit, the more salsa-like it will be. So go ahead and take your time up front making sure it's very um, salsa-like. Salsa That's right, it would go better on your chips. But now it's time to go ahead and do our chip portion. So Carrington is going to tell us what we need to do to make our chips. What? Mm -hmm. Okay, stack tortillas and use a sharp knife to cut into eight wedges. Mix together three tablespoons of sugar and cinnamon. Arrange wedges in a single layer on two parchment lined baking sheets and spray with cooking spray. Then sprinkle with desired amount of cinnamon sugar mixture and spray again with cooking spray. Bake chips for 8 to 10 minutes, then allow to cool completely before serving with salsa. Okay, so now let's going to make our chips. So, Carrington is going to cut our tortillas. So, we suggest like a stack of 8, but we've already pre-made some, so we're just going to do a couple of tortillas here to show you. She's going to cut it into 8 wedges. So, you'll start by cutting it in half, and then in half again. And then you'll go in between each of those quarters to make eight separate wedges, just like pizza. Okay, so now we have eight wedges. So Carrington's going to grab our sheet pan there, and we've already lined it with a piece of parchment paper. And so we're just going to do a single layer of our tortilla right on our pan. You'll need two pans if you're doing all eight of your tortillas. But once they are on your pan, you're going to take your butter flavored cooking spray and you're going to do a light layer over the tortillas. So honestly, it's just going to do a light layer. Then we have our cinnamon sugar mixture already made here. So we use three tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. We mix it together, and now we're just going to sprinkle that mixture right on top of our chips. It doesn't have to be a perfect layer, but you want it to be fairly even over your chips there. Once you have your sugar sprinkled on top, you're going to add one more layer of the cooking spray to be sure that it adheres. So now we're going to go ahead and pop this into the oven. And we're going to bake them for about 8 to 10 minutes. And so we have already done a batch. And they're going to come out very chip-like. They're going to be crunchy. And one side will be seasoned with your sugar and cinnamon mixture. So now we have finished our salsa and our chips. So it's time to taste our creation here. Are you ready, girls? So let's go ahead and try the salsa. So you can experiment with different types of fruits. We chose these um, apart because it's red, so it's more like a traditional salsa that you're used to. So what do you think, girls? It's good. <laughs> Very crunchy. We hope that you do try this at home. Remember to keep your salsa in the fridge um, covered 
and your chips you can kind of leave in a sealed bag. We hope that you enjoyed this recipe and we hope that you return for our next recipe next week and also for our Move It Monday videos that happen on Mondays. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.